Hey Cloud Gamers, today I'm having a look at the Stadia Pro games for January 2021. We've got Arai and The Secret of Seasons, Hotline Miami, El Hio, A Wild West Tale, Figment and Formula One 2020. I have played all of these games so I'm going to give you a bit of an overview and show a bit of gameplay. We're looking to do this every month as well as for other platforms for xCloud and GeForce Now etc. So if you are interested in cloud gaming do hit that subscribe button and let's get into some of these games. Starting off with Formula 1 2020 I was massively impressed with this game when it became a free to play pro game temporarily on Google Stadia but I wasn't ready to drop the £50 at the time due to other games. So I am absolutely delighted that this has come as a pro game. It is one of the best racing games I've played on Stadia and most racing games full stop to be honest. I'm not a huge racing fan, I was not a huge grid fan and I really couldn't get into MotoGP. But I'm really quite fascinated with Formula 1 2020 and the gameplay here is absolutely superb and you do get your full 4K here as well. You do have a lot of team management options so you can be immersed and get all of the different options to manage your team and make a full season of it or you can just dive into some racing. If you are going to be playing any of the racing games especially Formula 1 2020 do check out the Stadium Racing community in the comments below. To join the wonderful racing community there they have lots of events and there's always people playing both Formula 1 2020 and Grid at the main games. I'll leave you with a little bit of gameplay here before we move on to the next game. Assist disabled, you will need to be mindful of your speed when entering the pit lane. If you hit the limiter line too fast, you'll pick up a penalty. Watch the on screen prompts that show your target speed and distance to the limiter line. Moving on to Arai and the Secret of Seasons. To be completely honest, I was a little bit disappointed with this game. The original kind of showcases of this game do show it to be an absolutely beautiful game. But once we launch it up on Stadia, we realise that it's capped at 1920x1080 and this is a huge disappointment as there's no reason in my mind that this shouldn't be a 4K game. However, if you are playing on a smaller screen or on mobile, then this is a very immersive little RPG. The story is fairly intriguing, but the abilities here are very similar to those of things like Airbender, with a similar type of storyline as well. There's not much more really to say about this game. I found it quite pleasant just going through and figuring out how to use powers and getting involved in the story. But the lack of the high quality of the 4K here really did disappoint me to the fact that I don't know whether I would be playing this. Definitely not on Chromecast Ultra or PC, which is a shame because it does look like an absolutely fantastic game. I'll leave you with a bit of gameplay here before we move over to the next game. Next up is Al Hiyo, A Wild West Tale. This one kind of confused me a little bit. The storyline is a little bit weak in my mind, although it is in 4K, so it's another beautiful looking game. 
it's mostly a stealth kind of platformer where you need to hide to escape from this kind of like monastery area and battling Wild West villains later on. But I just found it quite slow, unfortunately. It does look like a really good game that you could get into, but again, I don't think it's really one for the PC or the Chromecast. However, it's probably a good one for the kids. I did find it quite intriguing trying to figure out how to get around some of the platforms and hiding. It did seem to have a slight Hello Neighbor feel when you were getting caught. Although it was fairly easy to outrun some of the people when they did discover you, it was still a bit of a challenge in quite a lot of the areas as you're trying to figure out how to get out of certain areas and also to inspire other children in these sections to gain more points. I'll leave you with a little bit of gameplay before we move on to the next game. Figment is another intriguing game, unfortunately another game that is not 4K when really it should be on Stadia for the Chromecast Ultraside. It's quite an intriguing puzzle game, a bit more RPG-esque than Al Hiyo, but with a lot of kind of platformer elements thrown in as well. There's lots more puzzles for this, there's lots more puzzles for Figment and I found it a bit more enjoyable than some of the other games on Pro here. The story is a bit of an interesting one about somebody trying to regain their memory and being trapped in a nightmare. So it is a little bit more intriguing than some of the others. But it not being full 4K makes it a little bit less enticing for me on the PC or Chrome. But it is a good little game to play on mobile or on smaller devices. And again, I think this is one that kids could probably get into quite easily and isn't too challenging. So I'll leave you with a bit of gameplay here before we move on to our last game. Way to go, Dusty! Maybe you can recover all the rememberings now that you're already out of your chair. The last game on Pro this month is Hotline Miami. Now I really wasn't sure what to expect when I was picking up this game and to my surprise even with the kind of old style graphics here it does run in full 4K. Don't think it quite needs it but it does make those kind of old school graphics pin sharp. Now Hotline Miami is a brutal and quite funny game actually. It's very fast paced as you can see here I died quite a lot trying to get through this mission. But when you get it right, it is quite satisfying. Kind of one hit kill a lot of the time here with weapons. And I did find myself wanting to complete each of the levels despite the graphics. Now I am a bit of a graphics snob a lot of the time. I do like my games to look good these days. But this sort of game was actually just quite fun to play. And it definitely seems to be suited a little bit more to a controller than a mouse and keyboard. It's a little bit fiddly with the mouse. But once you get used to it, it can be quite fun. 
This little stealth game is definitely extremely brutal, not one to be playing when the kids are around, as you can smash people's heads in, and also some of the language can get a bit ripe. All in all, I did find Hotline Miami a lot more fun than I thought, and that is a great bonus of the pro games to be able to pick up some of these games that you wouldn't normally play and give them a try. If graphics normally put you off like this, I do recommend that you still give this a try as you might find it a lot more fun than you think. I'll leave you with a bit of gameplay to play us out then, but thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, stay up to date with all the latest across all cloud gaming platforms, and I will see you next time.